Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom pixel transition using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got two video clips which I downloaded from Pixabay. I'll put links to those in the YouTube description. Let's open up Magic's and drag and drop those video clips onto the timeline. And we want to add like a pixel transition between these two video clips. So let's click on the first one. We'll go into effects and inside effects we're going to go to art filter here and this video clip is 8 seconds and 8 frames so I'm going to go back 2 seconds which will leave us on 7, 6 seconds and 8 frames so let's drag this cursor back to 6 seconds and 8 frames which will be right here it's a little bit hard to see but here you'll see 6 seconds and 8 frames so what I'll do is add a keyframe so first thing I'll do is move the dilate this just move it slightly move it off and then move it back again and then click add keyframe and then go all the way to the end and then drag this dilate all the way to the top so you can see this pixel effect right as it sort of transitions now let's go to the second video clip and we'll go right to the beginning and we'll move the dilate again slightly move it back to the value zero and add a keyframe then we want to move forward two seconds so let's go to two seconds which will be exactly here and then we we'll just drag the dilate all the way to the top let's set it to um, curved here and we can also turn it on to show the curve so you can see the curve in the timeline now and then we'll go back to the first clip and also set it to curve this will just smooth out the transition we can turn that on as well so in theory we should see we've actually done this one the wrong way around so let's click it and fix it so on the first frame we actually want to set it to a hundred and then on we can click this button to go to the last keyframe and then set that to value of zero so now we see the curve like this on the timeline if you can see that let's just try and um, zoom in here a bit so you see this curve shape like this okay um, let's go ahead and click on this first keyframe let's see what's going on let's just check it and this seems okay so now we just need to overlap them so you grab this end one and make an overlap so we get a um, crossfade so when we click play now we'll see this crossfade transition and the pixelation also so I think this is a nice little custom transition you can't find this transition in magic's default templates this is one that you have to create yourself uh, but I like this transition I think it looks pretty cool so I don't know what you think Hopefully you find this useful. If you want to speed up the transition, then just click on the video clip, go to the timeline, and just drag this first handle so you can drag it across this first keyframe, make it shorter, and you can click on the second keyframe or the second video clip and drag this one in the opposite direction to make them shorter, and then the crossfade will be much, much quicker. Uh, the transition will be quicker, so it will be much more smoother like this. Okay, so that's how I go about creating a pixelated crossfade transition using Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Let's minimize this and close this. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.